Hello, 7th grade, here talking about The Medicine Bag, the most recent short story you had to read for literature class. This story is relatively straightforward, but it does illustrate a literary concept I want you guys to focus on and be made aware of, and if I didn't teach you it in middle school, all your high school teachers would be looking at me saying, what do you do for three years, man? They need to know this stuff. And this is the literary concept of foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is when an author, and you should be writing this down, heads up, previews future events through parallels in the story. In this story, when Martin's grandfather first arrives to their house, he passes out. Later on in the story, we have the strong implication that he is dead because Martin is standing alone on the ranch after his, the implication being his grandfather's dead. So the fact that his grandfather passes out in the beginning foreshadows his death later on. That's how foreshadowing tends to work. If any of you are fans of the Star Wars movies, you go take a look at The Phantom Menace and go ahead and watch young Anakin Skywalker's shadow and you'll see there's a small shadow of Darth Vader in it. You'll also occasionally hear a few notes of Darth Vader's musical theme as he's shown. These are all foreshadowing future events. Now, back to the story. So the story opens with James and his grandfather coming to visit and James, uh, his grandfather is you know, being attacked by a dog, but his grandfather passes out. Again, Mr. Antonetti's prejudice against the dogs kind of shows through here. His grandfather's there. He's got a little bit of money in his boot. He has $100, he says, to pay for his funeral if something bad happens. But he's that's not why he's come. He normally lives on a reservation. He is a Native American. And for those of you who are unaware about the situation of Native Americans, that Native Americans, their nations largely don't exist anymore. Um, they've been reduced to what are called reservations, which was land set aside by the federal government, which are not entirely governed by Native American law, but still largely are. That's why in some states where gambling is illegal, illegal there are casinos on Native American land because they can have some control over themselves and some self-government. The last attempt for a Native American nation to sort of re receive international recognition was during the 1930s when the Iroquois Confederacy in Canada appealed... Um, for to be recognized as a nation, and the Netherlands almost backed them up, but the United Kingdom convinced them to back off by basically threatening to cut trade off with them, and that was the last attempt there was to sort of have a formally recognized Native American nation. Now, back to the story. Martin's grandfather reveals he's come to pass along a medicine bag after Martin's been kind of embarrassed by his friends coming over to see his grandpa. His friends think his grandpa's cool, and I think we all have this experience where we're kind of worried about a relative maybe embarrassing us. But most of the time, our relatives are actually kind of cool to the people we meet. Um, it's interesting to meet new people, and honestly, I enjoy meeting interesting people who are elderly because they've had a lot of experiences in life and give a lot of different perspectives. And if any of you say I'm elderly in the comments, I will give you an F. I will find a way to make it happen. There's then a story which is told about Martin's grandfather. Or, uh, sorry, Martin, Martin's grandfather tells a story about his predecessor, Iron Shell, and learning to work iron and his vision quest as in the sort of tradition surrounding the medicine bag. And these traditions are dying out. There's some... Native American traditions, which are really down there. There's one Native American language in North uh, Northwest Washington State, which is down to four native speakers, um, and actually has something like only like 12 people who know how to speak the language. They're actually, one of the few members of it was extraordinarily happy that their design, their cultural designs and imagery were used in a video game, Blizzard's Overwatch, um, for the character Farah in one of her alternate costumes was happy because it meant that some people were still remembering his tribe and their traditions. But he passes on this medicine bag and tells Martin that he's not to pass it down until his own son. <coughs> and the story ends with Martin holding the medicine bag and on the prairie alone. And there's a very strong implication that because he's alone and what his grandfather has told him, that his grandfather has passed away. And that's where the story leaves us. So go ahead, leave your thoughts about what you think this is represented at the end of the story. Go ahead, tell us what you think. Is it important to uphold old traditions? Go ahead, leave those thoughts in the comments below, 7th grade. And remember that you are going to have a quest on Friday. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.